Kaylee rode up in it. Did Dad, she? She said it's smooth. <laughs> Dad said it was dangerous, so when we weren't here, Kaylee did it. Uh-huh. Yeah, but I drove. I see how this is happening. I need this lawnmower. So you go ahead, take that one. Okay, but you need to put the gray hay, gray hay in a bucket, not in our poop. That's all just hay though. I know, but it also gets filled with poop. It's unhygienic. Sam's dream collection. Uh Uh, we, Sophie and I cleaned the horse's field the other day with that one. Just throw the whole bucket in there. The bucket will fall over. No, it doesn't. And crush the grain. No, we did it before. Sophie and I did it before. Good morning, guys. Here I am arguing with the devil. Just joking. What we're arguing about is that we use this for poop, and Sam has taught the girls to carry hay in it, even though on the bottom is poop. Gabby says because there's a layer of hay here it will protect the hay. I would much rather just keep it in the red clean bucket. Sophie and I have done it before. But the real tea this morning is that the girls have taken over Sam's lawnmower. We need to get a four wheeler. It is going to be our next big purchase. I don't know when that will be, but yeah. Uh, they've taken it over, they both drive it. They use it for chores. They attach that little trailer thing, dump trailer onto the back of it and yeah, they just use it. They just drive it. Like, Sam has to walk now all the time because the girls just take it. Oh, um, how you empty it? Because you want to get it all the way in there. You have to unattach it. Did Dad show you how to unattach it? No. Problems. Hey, summer's waiting for us. You know, the everlasting one. No matter if your heart is cold, I got plenty of... People put on the brakes. Sassy just got more sassy. You feel it? She doesn't keep her foot on the brakes. Yeah, she doesn't keep her foot on the brakes. Some people live life with their foot on the gas, flying by, and some people live life with their foot on hovering over the brakes. You and I are brake people. Gabby's a gas girl. Do you think I should get her in trouble and tell her not to live life to the fullest? No, but like what if she something runs in front of her and she has to stop? Yeah, and then she'll learn. What if nothing runs in front of her and she just what looks What if Molly fast? runs in front of her? Yeah, it's true. You never know. Everybody has a different style of living life and God makes you a different way. Live life the way that you're meant to live it until you learn something. Do your best until you learn something new and then do that. But look at this. Sophie's got this gorgeous riding outfit on today. And doggy prints. Molly. <laughs> totally Molly. So today I need to clean up the property a little bit around here, cut the courtyard. Brandon's coming tonight and we don't want a messy barn when Brandon gets here. I have to stay up till like 2 a.m. Why? So I don't cry at night. Cause Did then you? I can't sleep. Cause then my nose gets plugged. So. So did you cry last night? I kept it all in, but I barely. Kept barely. it all in? Yeah, who did you sleep with instead of Cookie? Never sleep with her again. <laughs> I said you can have Toby. Toby wants more love. I don't want Toby. I know, poor Toby. Nobody wants Toby, just me. I'm the only one that understands him. The only one that loves him. What about Macy? You want Macy? Macy's so sweet and so cuddly. She's no cookie dough, but she'd be she'd be she good. Cuddle underneath my No, she doesn't. She likes to sleep. Well, she does, actually. It's Toby that doesn't cuddle. Cookie does. You want Cookie? You're saying Cookie. Oh, do you want Macy? Sorry. Well, what will Gabby think? Gabby has, uh, has Molly. She doesn't need two dogs. Molly and Cookie don't. Molly and Macy do not get along. Make her yours, Sophie. She needs somebody. 
All right, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. It's always okay to show your emotion. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be sad. As long as you need to be sad, it's okay to feel everything that you feel. Acknowledge it. Know that you feel it. And then try and process it and move on. That's all you can do. Time heals all wounds, right? So, like, we just get better naturally over time. Still can't believe it, though. So hard. But here is a crazy story. And I wanted to remind Sophie about this. Because we forgot about it until somebody, one of our fans, reminded me about it. When we got Cookie, when she was a year old. Remember I told you guys she lived outside in a rabbit hutch year-round for that whole first year. And so we took a tiny little puppy, stuck her in a rabbit cage with another dog. The other dog was an older dog. It was a boy. And the lady had planned to breed them. And basically her only comfort, her only love, her only security, her whole entire first year of life was this other dog. He was a tri-colored uh, little tiny chihuahua of really nice quality. If I have a picture, I'll show it right here. Really nice puppy. And he was so much older that he had a normal child. He had a normal life until this lady got him. And so he was really loving and he was smaller than Cookie, shorter, he was chubby, but Sophie could manage him. So when we got the two of them, Cookie was so damaged, was not used to people. I would open the door for her to run out and she didn't even want to go outside. She was scared of everything. She had no muscle. She was like almost double the size of Macy, but Macy could outrun her like in minutes and um, for months. She wouldn't let anybody touch her. I had to open the door and stand, like leave the room or she wouldn't come back in. We spent hours chasing her around our one acre property trying to catch her. Like only a person she was ever bonded to was that dog. Do you remember Rocco? I think Abby showed me a picture of him. Yeah, well so the thing about Rocco. Cute little fat thing. Yeah, cute little fat thing was that Sophie loved him. If I have pictures, I'll show them here. I don't think I saved any pictures. Um, on my computer to, to share, but uh, Sophie carried him everywhere. Sophie attached to him when she was, she was only one and a half. She carried him everywhere, she took him everywhere, she did everything with him because Cookie wouldn't even come near us. And she loved Rocco and Rocco was just like, do whatever you want to me, I'll just go along with you. And then he was older and then one day suddenly he had died peacefully in his sleep in the middle of the afternoon in we had a big huge X pen that we kept them in with a really nice bed. It was a nice area for them. He still comes out of everything. Yeah, and he died. He just died one day, maybe about four or five months after we got them. Uh Cookie was already pregnant when we got her. Um Rocco was the dad and he died. And from that moment on, Cookie was like, Oh no, I'm alone in this world. Who am I gonna love? And she started coming to us, started accepting love from us, started giving love to us. I forget all the hard times. And when I said that I didn't want her for our family, it was because she was a really difficult dog. Like, she was a difficult dog. She was needy. She was, she, oh gosh, you name it. Like, she was a, a whole journey to get her. And I forgot how much of a journey she was until I started looking back, making that video of her. And, um... It's like so amazing that she changed and that she knew so much love. The most loviest of all of our pets was Cookie Dough. Like she, she was affectionate like crazy, but she had to come a long way. Anyways, but the point of my story is this. Guess who Cookie Dough probably met at the gates of heaven? Stella. I don't think she met Stella because she hated horses. She was scared of them. She never came down to the barn. I feel bad that we had to bury her on the, on the farm that she never felt comfortable on. Rocco was the only person she knew, the only love she had from she the time. Stella. She didn't really know Stella. She knew Rocco though, and he's already in heaven waiting for her. And he was her true one love of life. And now they're together. So that's amazing. Being able to know that there are other people there Daddy, that love you, that are gonna be there. Wrong field. That are gonna be, wrong field. Oh my gosh, Gabby made a mistake. <laughs> Shh, don't, don't mention it, she'd be mad. She could have uh, closed the gate. Yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on, I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your love and support and kindness through the whole cookie thing. I I, I was overwhelmed 150% and you guys always have our back and you guys are so kind and amazing and it just really helps make bad situations really much more bearable for us. Anyway, moving on, I also wanted to tell you guys that um, I know Gabby hasn't been in a lot of the vlogs lately because she's been living it up in the world. She's been hanging out with 
Kaylee, she's been doing friend stuff, she's been going to beaches, she's been like, you name it, she's been doing it. And one thing I always vowed in making these vlogs is that my kids were just gonna live their normal life. And our vlogs are our normal life. Like we don't go out and do fake things and pretend that that's our normal life. This is our normal life. And so I never wanna tie any of my kids to the house. This is not their job, this is not, this is, this is, like I said, this, I want them to have as normal a life as possible. So when Gabby doesn't show up to the vlogs or Sophie, it's because they're out doing the things that they want to do and I'm not going to stop them from that. They need that normal kid life. Unfortunately, the horses pooed a whole lot in here last night. I do not know how that happened. Hi girlies. Girls are having breakfast. Gabby must have missed it being down here. She hasn't done chores in days. She must have missed it because she's out there getting everything done all by herself. Go help your sister. Go help. All right, so there's a mystery. Scary mystery. It's not scary. It is scary because look, there's an, a chicken egg. This is an actual chicken oh, egg. Two of them. Does it? Mm -hmm. It's two of them. Yeah, it's two chicken eggs. Well, Where would they have come them. from? So basically, for there to be a chicken egg down here, something had to have gotten in our chicken thing and brought it down. How do snakes eat chicken eggs? Do they like crack them open and suck the juice? Or no, do they, they swallow them whole? Swallow them whole? Sure. We don't know. We have to look that up when we get back. So something brought our chicken eggs down here. Maybe it was Jacob. Seems like he did a lot of stuff while he was here. Jacob is obsessed with sweeping our barn and somehow he, we missed him leaving this in the arena and now it's... It works better after. It's now it's chinoified. Chinoified. Okay. Dad's looking for his drill. Did he talk to you? No. Well, do you know where his drill is? No. Is it up in the hayloft? You had it last. Until we brought it down. And then where'd you put it when you brought it down? Give it to Jacob. <laughs> Good excuse. Did you actually give it to Jacob? Oh gosh. All right. We're going to YouTube the barn and let's see if the girls did a proper job. I cut the, the, what do I call this? I cut the courtyard. It's all fresh. Gabby swept. And Sophie cleaned up poo. Oh, I see a lot of poop at the back. Is this Brandon worthy? Is this YouTube worthy? If I showed the YouTubers, if I showed our friends, if I showed the subscribers, would they say great job, Sophie? No, they wouldn't. Come on, go back there and get that poop. Can't have poop in the barn. Sophie would be really sad today. Sometimes when this Sometimes when bad things happen, sad things happen, like you get busy and it takes your mind off it and then you're not busy and then your mind comes back to it. But then there are people like Gracie in the world to make you feel better, this girl. Oh my goodness. Love her, like I just love her. See, there's one fly on her. Get off of her. Oh, I killed it. I killed it, Gracie. I will protect you. Oh, there's one, there's, there's a couple of flies in here. A couple of flies, huh? Kind of fly fly. I said I'm kind of five five. Five five? All right, let's do it. Let's see how tall you actually are. You got your shoes on though. That makes a difference. A good half an inch at least. Move. All right, so this is where you are. Let's see, measure this baby up. See if Gabby grew since winter. Put it right by my finger so you can see it. Ooh. Gabby. What? Oh, I grew half an inch. Yeah, this is like a horse riding nightmare. Gabby wants to be a pony squasher for her whole life. She does not want to grow. If you guys remember, she used to be five, five and a half. Now you're five, six. You're officially five, six. I grew a half an inch. Since winter. Since last year. Yeah, oh my gosh. I know Sophie's been growing. Gabby actually had shoes on, and so oh, does Sophie. Oh, so we have to take away half an inch. Well, let's see if your shoes are half an inch. Let's measure them. But first, let's measure Sophie. Got your feet up there? Okay. So right. I'm still like Step five away. Five. You could be. 
Yeah, that's a lot shorter than Gabby. She is just over five feet. Yeah, five foot one. Five foot one? You've been five foot one for a long time. No, she's been four nine. She was four five nine, feet. and then she went to five one, I feel like. You're five feet, you're over five feet tall. All right, let's measure your heels. You just said that. Why don't you just take off your shoes? No, I'm good. They are one inch heels. So you probably didn't grow. You're probably 5'5 five five still. Hey! And you, I don't know. I feel like you guys didn't grow a lot. I feel like Sophie did grow a little. Look that. Yeah. Phew! Saved by, the, saved by the shoes. Because last year she was 5'2", now she's 5'3". Look at our little guard girl. Look at she, uh-oh. Don't, don't go. Hey! Come here. Oh Come on. Oh my god, it's a bird. Uh oh, it's a bird. Good girl, come here. They're looking for treats. Look, I don't have my treats down here. Good girl. Look at how good that worked, though. I'm sorry. I don't have. Let's go get carrots. Come here. Come on. Come on, Ruby. Let me get. They're getting carrots. So you guys, I showed you guys that the dogs bark. <laughs> Holly just walks off with her carrot. Bite it. Bite it. She can't. Just let her have it. Ah, oh, Molly, come here. Come on, good no. oh, girl. I showed you guys in a couple of vlogs ago that they bark when people come and we've been trying to work with them and draw them to us instead of to the people. We've been using treats and it worked like a charm today. I had no treats. A hundred and two degrees. A hundred and two, it's the middle of the afternoon. Gabby and I had a homemade chicken noodle soup. She was craving it, so I made it for us. And then we just chilled. I did laundry, I cleaned the house, the girls just chilled. It's summer and sometimes we just kinda chill. I seriously can't believe it's 102 though. It's gonna be hot for a long time. Our trainer's coming, like I said, who's gonna come after eight so that we're gonna ride when the sun goes down a bit so it's not so hot. Hi, Minnie Minnie. Hello, Minnie. I've been like, one of Sophie's friends, Peyton, always is looking at horses. So I was kind of looking up with horses with her the other day. See that? Me, girl. And we were looking at miniatures and I have like a, I have a, a taste. I have a style that I like in minis. Oh my gosh, you'd be fat. I like minis that have that, they look like a, like a warthog face, like a really fat face. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but they have like a pig face, and I love that look. So, girls already put everything in for the, for the, my girls already put everything in the stalls for the ponies. Yeah, I forgot Gracie. Come on, yeah, give me the hard one. Gracie. <laughs> I do realize I need to like get tougher because when I was trying to lead Brooklyn around who's already scared, Gracie was like, yeah, you don't, it doesn't matter what you think because she already knows that I'm a wimp. Yeah. I know. I don't know how. I don't know how it's happening. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Sophie wants to show us all Finn's bites. Let's see. It is 82 degrees inside. 20, deg 20 degrees difference. It's 102 degrees outside. Storm's having a drink. 
It's hard to shoot any good videos when it's this hot though. But one good benefit of this heat is that the horses really don't get that crazy. That is insane. Oh, Finny. Who bites you? No wonder he's crazy sometimes. Spin, storm. I do not like this. Standing in the middle of horses. It's fun for me to come down and just sit here and watch them though. Like being in the arena and the ponies being with us. Spending time with the ponies. Uh oh. Molly doesn't like horses so. She does not like horses. She's a really cautious puppy. She's like help me. I don't run. Run. Run Molly. Run. Oh no. Uh oh. Go Storm. I can't see. He's outside. <laughs> Oh my god, why did you do that? What? <laughs> it's all over the now. <laughs> what was it? Did Storm do that? Yeah. <laughs> did he drop water out of his mouth or did he hit your water? <laughs> so he filled his mouth up with water. He filled his mouth up with water like that long ago, came over to all three of us sitting on this bench, and then poured it all over you. Hey! Storm. Storm's like, that's what you get for saying you love Chino more. The horse doesn't know how to tell you how they feel. Either he was claiming you as his <laughs> by marking you with the spit oh and water. <laughs> no. Or he or was saying, that... take that, Gabby. Oh, you and I, we got it. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right Bright. Sam and Sophie just went in and checked the post office box and there's a couple of packages. Sophie's dying to open them, but Gabby did not come with us because she's too cool for school now, too cool for us. I'm just joking, she had multiple days of Kaylee in the last week and that entailed no sleep. So she's been laying on the couch in the freezing cold with a blanket on top of her all day. And I think she probably needed it. Oh my gosh, I know what this is. I love this lady. She's so hilarious. She messages me sometimes. Today's Wednesday. Wednesday. What? For Wednesday, we've had too much fast food lately. So the letter is a million pages long. So I'm gonna read that now. So the letter is from a lady named Lisa. She messages me often, and she told me about this package. The letter was hilarious, like absolutely hilarious. Nothing offended me. I think that the dream that you had about us on the day that Stella died, the night that Stella died, was absolutely unbelievable because. Clearly, you were meant to know that something bad was gonna happen. I think I'll probably keep this letter with me for a while, sleep with it under my pillow because you make me laugh so much. But anyway, she also sent us this beautiful star, and I think it's in Stella's name. And it is stunning, and I cannot wait to add it to my collection of stunning day-by-day -day fam things that you guys have sent me. It is truly beautiful. And this package Sophie opened, from Brooke, who is the owner and founder of Bits and Bites by B. By Brooke, obviously. Uh, she says, I love your channel, so I decided to send you guys some treats in my shop. I hope all your horses and ponies love them. Don't forget to tag me in any post videos and treats they're featured in. I hope we can partner again. Oh, you better believe it. Because Sophie already showed me these treats are so adorable. Look at how cute that is. Okay, so look at this one says this there's the letter F for Chino. Finn. C for Chino, a beautiful heart. The picture does not the camera is not doing it an even justice. Who's M? Storm. 
Who's G? Gabby and Sophie. Oh, or Gabby and Sophie. Or these are for the Chihuahuas too because there's an M. M for Macy. Some horse treats are horse and dog treats. I'm not sure. I'll have to look her up. But that's amazing, Brooke. You did an awesome job. These are gorgeous. I know our pets are going to love them. I'll take a picture of you on Instagram as well, share it in my vlog. So watch out for that. Thank you so much. Well, Sophie is with me here. She is struggling for clothes at the moment. She wants like a couple of cute beach ugly. dresses. How do you know they're ugly? That's adorable. It's ugly. Um, but we didn't go to the mall because the mall is a scary place to be right now. This one is adorable, Sophie. This would be look gorgeous on you. I love it. We're going to try it. So anyway, so Sophie's hoping to get just like a couple of sundresses or skirts to go over top of her bathing suit or just something to wear in public instead of that. And your barn shoes. I just bought you $100 shoes so that you could have shoes to wear out of the house. Well, I was carrying boxes. You see any that are cute? No. This is really cute. Oh, I like but then no I can sew some straps, but that's kind of fancy at the top. I like that. I like it too. It's super one. cute. Okay, so Sophie got a couple of, she got a, a dress to put over a bathing suit. She got two skirts and two shirts to go with it. And, but the biggest deal of all, you guys know how Gabby and Sophie have been looking for those little nightlight things and you can't get them anywhere. They're all sold out. Sophie found the unicorn one that she's been wanting for $3.99. And they're twenty dollars. We just have to put batteries and in it. It came with other stuff. Too. Yeah, this is the one that she's been wanting. Gabby's going to be so upset. In typical Gabby fashion, she wants the dino dinosaur one. I love a good rainstorm. Don't crash. 